Okay, chlorella is a single-celled freshwater organism that dates back, theorized, beyond 4 billion years old, making it the oldest, most ancient superfood on the planet. Chlorella, to me, is the most underrated superfood. Not too many people are super aware of how potent and powerful this food is. The strain of chlorella is chlorella pyridosa, I believe it's pronounced, and it's a product of Ultimate Superfoods. We're happy to carry this product because most companies cut their chlorella with um, excipients and stuff like soy lecithin, and they don't pay attention to the strain as much as Ultimate Superfoods has done getting their chlorella from the world's largest supplier who pays particular attention to the strain, making sure it's the ancient or an ancient original strain. Most companies don't pay attention to that. There tends to be a drift in the quality and the strain of the algae. So chlorella is very broad spectrum. It has a vast array of nutrients and properties that make it one of the most potent and powerful superfoods, in my opinion. It has five times more chlorophyll than anything in the plant kingdom, making it great for alkalizing the body, detoxifying the blood. Also, because of its indigestible cell wall, it has the ability to detoxify the body of harmful hydrocarbons and heavy metals, PCBs, stuff like mercury, cadmium, lead, these really toxic things that get in there and mess with your nervous system and form a foundation for what is known as nanobacteria calcification in the body. So and that's really important in today's world because there's heavy metals in the food, in the water, and in the air that we're breathing. So something like that is very, very important and very um, essential in a strategy as far as I'm concerned. Also, it's about 50 to 60 percent protein, making it a very, very abundant vegetarian protein source. On top of that, it has pretty much all the B vitamins. It's not human active B12, though. Um, and it's also the number one source for RNA. I think it was before it was theorized that I think it was either anchovies or sardines were considered the most abundant source of RNA. Bee pollen is another really good source. So it has these nucleic acids, these building blocks for our DNA. Um, so that's a really fascinating thing that most people aren't aware of. Um, it increases interferon levels, so it's very potent in fighting viruses, bacteria, um, modulating the immune system in general. Chlorella is also a very abundant source of magnesium and iron lots of magnesium and lots of iron. Magnesium is such a crucial element and most people are lacking it. Um, magnesium is involved in like over 300 different processes in the body and, and is very vital for maintaining cardiovascular health. Also iron is a very important diet that lots of people on a vegetarian and vegan diet are lacking so it's a wonderful source of iron as well. Also chlorella is the fastest multiplying organism on the planet so when you eat it it's been clinically shown to help the lactobacillus acidophilus inherently in your body to multiply at four times the rate it normally does. So it's almost like a prebiotic in a sense. So that's amazing because the bacteria that we are covered in and filled with is our immune system. So something that has the potential to make that bacteria multiply is very, very powerful. So chlorella comes in tablet form <clears throat> and powder form. I personally like it in the powder form because it can go straight into elixirs. It's not my f the most tastiest superfood to me. I have friends who love the taste of it and love just chomping on the tablets, love even adding the powder to salads. A great way to mask the very green flavor of chlorella is to add it to fresh pressed vegetable juice or apple juice in particular. Apple juice seems to totally neutralize the taste. Whatever way you start, make sure that you start slow and be kind to your body and be patient because it's very, very detoxifying. I've heard many people who, who start eating chlorella and super dose it and have a crazy healing reaction and are all sick and got flu-like symptoms and stuff like that and they get totally discouraged and they don't want to eat it anymore. So start really slow. Start with like maybe a teaspoon, see how you feel, gradually increase. The real benefits come from eating this food for like three to four months and it's amazing if you can stick it out that long how much more vibrant alive and awake you feel it's very energizing and very cleansing so whether you want it in tablet form or powder form start slow start with like five tablets if tablet form is the way that you want to do it it's great to take before you eat because it helped because it 
collaborates with your lactobacillus acidophilus. It's very good for increasing digestion and nutrient absorption. So it's going to add that benefit to all your elixirs or anything you eat. It's going to increase the absorption of the nutrients. So start slow, be patient, and enjoy one of my favorite foods. I hope you all have a happy day.